Hello everyone, uh, I'm Ed, I'm a filmmaker from London. Uh, I've been producing and directing films for about 12 years uh, through my company, Postcode Films. Uh, the films I like to work on are character-led and uh, long-term observational in style. They often focus on families, um, using the intimacy and humour in those relationships to explore bigger themes. Some of my features have included working with uh, two elderly Indian brothers, learning to love each other again after 40 years apart, uh, father and son grappling with uh, literacy in suburban London, and my latest project with debut director Kit Vincent, who's coming to terms with his own mortality. That film's called Red Herring. It's been screening at festivals throughout this year. It was backed by Sundance, BFI, and France Television, amongst others. Um, and we'll also be showing IDFA alongside Mariam's film, so please come and watch them both in the Best of Fest section next month. Um, anyway, hope to meet some of you around at, in Yelava, and please enjoy meeting my latest film family in the trailer for Red Herring. Hi, Dad. Okay. I'm recording you. I just remember kind of falling forwards. And then everything going black. The doctor said, it's a brain tumour. And it's, it's terminal. My parents were both with me when they told me that. I just look at my dad, he just passed out on the floor and had a heart attack. No one really wants to talk about death, but I guess that's what I remind them of. Okay, I can see myself, I'm not an idiot. I'm like the Grim Reaper. <laughs> Has your opinion of what happens to you after you die changed? I'm actually concentrating on this writing. Will you get a new boyfriend when I die? Yeah. <laughs> We've entered into this parallel universe, lurching from one existentialist crisis to another. That's the bit that gets you stoned. When there's a real trauma, an engagement on a deeper level is required. Adonai. 